Hey guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews, back with something really special, a little bit on the different side. Uh, hails out of Lewiston as well from the, my last time I was at uh, the Brickyard Brewing Company. I picked up one of their barley wines. Um, kind of struck me, it was off on its own, had this cool little um, uh, wire basket, sort of uh, champagne, sort of cork top. And um, this beer has probably one of the, the most metal names I've ever um, come across. And it is Bayonet the Hole. And then bayonet their corpses. That's awesome. Uh, and it's a, you know, it's an ode to uh, some local history, national history. We'll get to that in a second. But this is uh, Brickyard Brewing Company, batch number 001. Um, bayonet the hole and then bayonet their corpses. It's a barrel aged old ale. 10.1% ABV with 50 IBUs. And right from the back, uh, it says, In 1813, Captain David Davies of the 100th Foot, who commanded the British uh, company attacking the South uh, Red Doubt of Red, uh, Fort Niagara, gave the infamous order to bayonet the whole of the defending Americans. This beer is an ode to history, both local and otherwise. Uh, bayonet the whole is our house barley wine. It's undergone extensive aging in multiple barrels. I believe um, uh, national... Oak barrels and also New York State um, barrels as well. Um, once used and none used, so it's it's had a couple of different steps of uh, of aging in the past. Do you know what I mean? Um, I can kind of uh, play ball with this sort of um, history. Growing up in Watertown, uh, I've done, you know, I grew up just uh, four or five miles away from Sackett's Harbor, which is also an 1812 sort of battlefield city. So I thought that was really cool. So let's see what this thing's all about, right? Um, let's put this uncorking to real time. See if we can get any sort of uh, luck with it. You know what I mean? Let's see. Man, this is gonna be rough. success and I didn't even lose any I'm gonna drink this 10.1 percenter out of this little glass here so let's put a nose on it and see what the heck this thing looks like give it a little room for my nose again this is the bayonet the hole and bayonet their corpses from Brickyard Brewing Company Woo! so take a look at this it's almost got this uh, iced tea sort of appearance, right? Brown, um, almost like a brown leather sort of uh, color and appearance. Um, almost like a Belgian sort of like a double sort of looking thing. You know, uh, it's it's murky and it's opaque. You can't see through it. Um, well carbonated, although it didn't give me a huge head. So, wow. Nice. This is, a, this is a nice nose. Um, it's not something you get to smell and try to describe very often, right? So I really do think you you get these, it's very complex bouquet of, of aromas here. So right off the bat, I think you can play ball with a lot of those bourbon barrels. Uh, I think you get hints of, of the oak and you get the hints of the bourbon and you get hints of vanilla. But I also think you get these cool little hints of of these darker, uh, say, fruits like raisins or dates or um, stuff like that. Um, plums. Man. It just all seems really nice. Um, they seem to be mellow sort of flavors. The There isn't any sort of that alcohol vapory sort of, of aromas that you might have think uh, got in there from these uh, these barrels and these barrel aging processes. Uh, seems to be mellow. Seem, there doesn't seem to be anything aggressive and, and um, off-putting. You know what I mean? Mmm. Man. I'm excited to see what this thing tastes like. So let's just get into it.
Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> I really wasn't anticipating it drinking so nice and smooth and well-rounded. There aren't any sort of harsh uh, characteristics to this 10.1% uh, barley wine, if that's something that you guys might be worried about uh, or something that you might have might have prohibited you from maybe pulling the trigger to buy a, a bottle of this. Um, yes, you do get some of that bourbon sort of aromas and, and flavors, but it does not really translate into this extremely boozy experience. It's, it's nice, subdued to an extent, but it's still there with proper posture and it, you know what I mean? It's standing tall. Mm. And it and it washes into this nice sort of barley wine presence. It's got some hints, some characteristics of um, some some sweetness. You do you get um, you get that dark sort of fruity um, qualities to it. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, raisins and and plums and yeah i like it more of like a belgian sort of of take on this uh this body mm. Mm. i think you get this nice infusion this generalized infusion of you know the wood characteristics something that you just can't place your finger on you can't just add this malt or this hop and it's going to give you this flavor that's why these barrel aging uh, processes are so sought after uh, it gives you this nice characteristic that you just can't get by any other method and it's enjoyable semi-sweet uh, but not too sweet semi vanilla presence semi oaky sort of of um bourbon sort of presence yeah um but it also just rides uh and holds hands and and plays really well with this barley wine presence um i'd say it's a it's a medium uh i don't think the 10 maybe the 10.1 percent you might be thinking it's oh that's it's heavy bodied beer maybe the way it looks i'd say medium maybe a couple of ticks uh higher than medium sort of bodied uh beer uh, you do get sweet sort of of semi sticky notes in the mouth and on your tongue. Um, they linger around briefly, but they don't they don't last a whole long time. Um, the ten point one percent though, uh, without those really angular sort of of aromas and flavors, seem to be just knocked down a bit to make it enjoyable to drink. But there is definitely no mistaking that this thing has the potential to to ruin your day if you don't respect it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, what else? No, this is, this is, I, I'm not gonna say this is gonna be an easy beer to finish. This beer, I will finish this beer. And I'll have the, uh, I have a smile on my face the whole time I'm doing it. It is enjoyable, um, but I'm going to take my time on this. You know, I've got some things to do around the house and uh, I can't be just taking a nap because I'm in some 10.1 sort of ABV stupor afterwards, you know? Um, I like this a lot. Um, yeah, I think really the only drawback initially was trying to get this stupid cork off. There isn't, there isn't really enough cork on the outside of the bottle to give you any sort of leverage. You definitely, you know, May need a tool. My rusty tool, this poor thing's been outside forever. Um, but besides that, this thing's wholly enjoyable. <sighs> yep, and that's officially it for me. So, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I did like this beer. Um, if you guys are so inclined, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't go out there and visit uh, the Brickyard Brewing Company out in Lewiston. It's as easy as it comes. So, Kind of cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and all that good stuff. Thumbs up and comments and likes and all that good stuff is appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.